ironically, in the midst of after covering topics ranging from Joe Flacco to Devin White to Derek Carr at the NFL Coaches Breakfast Tuesday, Fangio picked apart the league's pre-draft process, which includes official visits with as many as 30 prospects. The Broncos will exhaust their visits, if only for homework, general manager John Elway claimed, but there's no secret message embedded in who they're meeting. Just because they're talking to several quarterbacks doesn't necessarily mean they're leaning toward one. These breadcrumbs, often followed, lead nowhere. Or worse, they're purposely misleading, throwing observers off the scent. It's a necessary evil, and Fangio won't try to sideways ya. Yeah. I think it helps, he said. I think it's more, for every guy, it's a little bit different. Some guys you're bringing in just to get a little bit of a better feel for them. Some guys you're bringing in you feel like you have a lot of questions that you want to ask and get answered. It's a different degree. Some of those guys you're bringing in, you're just bringing in as a smokescreen. I wouldn't get too enamored with who we're bringing in or who the other 31 teams are bringing in. It could mean something, it might not mean something. I think guys that try and read the tea leaves on the draft drive themselves crazy. The NFL Draft is almost here and soon the Broncos will be on the clock. Don't miss out on any news and analysis, take a second to sign up for our free Broncos newsletter, delivered three times daily. The interviews seem useless, to put it bluntly, since teams average only seven choices per draft, meaning many of their targets will be snatched up elsewhere. But for an old-school straight shooter like Fangio, who relies on the eye test over analytics, they hold value by lending irreplaceable face time between two parties. There are a wide variety of successful personalities in the NFL, he explained. You're just trying to see the guy's personality come out and maybe compare it to somebody you've coached along the way. Obviously, coaching a long time like I have, I have a vast library of guys that I've coached that have been successful. Do I see some traits or personality traits of guys that I've coached in that past that have been successful or have not been successful? En route to Dove Valley are presumptive first-round QBs Drew Locke, Kyler Murray and Dwayne Haskins, as well as fringe day two signal caller Daniel Jones. The Broncos reportedly will also host tight end Josh Oliver, defensive lineman Draymond Jones, offensive lineman Dalton Risner and linebacker Justin Hollins, among others. Some of these players genuinely intrigue them, and likely are on their big board's highest tier. Others? Diversions. 